Hello and welcome to the PBFA. The Provincial Book Fairs Association is the largest association of professional book dealers in the country. We travel everywhere from Penzance to Aberdeen and everywhere in between, putting on book fairs like this and there are 60 of us here today in Bloomsbury in the heart of London. We're making a series of films about our members, our friendly fairs and the wonderful books we sell. That's a lot of ground to cover but actually it's pretty simple. A PBFA book fair is like a country house library or a museum, but you're actually allowed to buy what you see. We fill rooms like this with books, maps, prints, ephemera and an awful lot more. You never know what you'll find. And of course it's all completely authentic and professionally described. That's the beauty of a PBFA book fair. Well, we can't meet 60 members today, but let's have a chat to a few people. I don't have to go very far to talk to the first one. She's on the store next to mine. Hi, um, my name is Alison Nevers and my uh, uh, book business is called The Second Shelf and I focus on books, uh, first editions, rare books, and sort of rediscovered work by women. So it could be everything from a signed copy of Jean Rhys uh, uh, or a really exceptional copy of one of my favorite writers, Angela Carter, or something like a composition book from France that's been pieced together to do someone's oh, lace, wow. lace work Look at that. Uh, and their lace practice All and they, they were very, uh, her name was Violet and she was very economical. She saved all her composition notebook covers to use and you know obviously it works well because they're nice and firm. So That's fantastic. Uh, yeah and I have a shop in Soho and so we're very close by. And, and the whole store is focused on books by women, and we, uh, yeah, we love being at this fair, actually. There's a lot of great stuff here, and yeah. This has always been one of my favourite stalls. John Martin, our honorary secretary. How's it going today, John? That's good. And lots of people, uh, lots of interest, morning. lots of people I haven't seen before. And lots of stock I haven't seen before. Yeah, have you really sorted through all of this? No. It's always a bit of a muddle. That's half its fun. Lots of new stock as well, I think. Yes. I haven't seen this before. No, that's... A Lithograph of a 19th century transvestite. We don't know who, but it's an interesting thing. Ooh, um, I might have that off you later, John. Thanks very much. Here's something that caught my eye. It's from 1970. Rita, what is this strange thing? This is a really interesting American exhibition catalogue. Um, Jasper Johns was involved in the creation of this. So this is one of his most famous images called Target. And his idea was anybody can be an artist. That's amazing. So there's the paint, there's the brush, <laughs> and make your own art. This is another interesting one, actually. This is an exhibition catalogue from 1969. It's really heavy because it's made of metal. And wow. very, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> well, it's, a ton. I know it's amazing, isn't it? It's all about machinery, um, and it's just incredible that they spent all this money creating this. But the beautiful things. I think that's the fun of book fairs, isn't it? That you come along and you find books that you just didn't know existed. Um, such a joy. This is Rita, by the way, from Zimnor Books. And uh, we'll be talking to you again sometime in the future, I think. Thank you very much. Well, I wish I could talk to everyone and show you more of the magical things that we sell, but this really is a big, busy place, and it will have to wait. In the meantime, you can find a fairs calendar on our website, and I do hope you can make one in 2020. You'll get a warm welcome, and I hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.